You locked in to the Dad's Intervention Podcast. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to the Dad's Intervention Podcast. Of course, I'm back. I'm back. I don't know what if they told you guys. I wasn't feeling too good. Wasn't feeling too hot, but I'm back. I'm back and better. Got got myself some minerals and some uh, fish oil. Cheese doodles. And, and, and yeah, well, cheese doodles ain't the energy, but damn it. Um, <laughs> I'm back at it. <laughs> I'm back at it. But it's your favorite dad's. is your man, Ace Brown. Yo, it's your boy, Build a Billionaire in a Building. Speaking comedy. God bless you. God's been extra good today, so I had to give him a little extra God praise. I, 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 I was going to ask. <laughs> Come on, somebody touched two or three people and said, did you poop? Yo. <laughs> now, look, poop. I just, <laughs> see, I just, I just want to do something, people. Uh-huh. Um, Ace, welcome back, one. Um, but people, I want to apologize um, for last week's show. I don't know what was uh, <laughs> going, coming over uh, Deacon. He was acting totally different. So uh, please forgive him. I don't know what it was when he started, you know, unbuttoning his shirt, spraying himself, and 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 then talking oh, about oh, the, please, the penis please. extenders. Like, what? I, yeah, Wait, it, it, what? It, it, it was just different. It was it, it, it. Hey, she left me with this freak right here. I don't know what was going on, and he was just acting totally different. But I do got to ask the question, Deke, Did you order the extenders? Yes, I did. Have they come in yet? It has come in. Did you order the five pack? <laughs> no, I ordered the the Mambo Monster. <laughs> ordered Wait, the Mambo what? Monster. Okay, so what, uh, what did he order? Ace, you got to go back and watch the show. It's, he, it's, ordered, it, he ordered a penis extender. See, see, this is what happens when we give him the dad's talk. Okay, wow. before we used to get ahead and get, he used to bring news, and now he got his ears to the streets. And I think we need to bring his ears for, back from the streets. So now he went and went on Adam and Eve, bought a new toy. I think Rose might be walking different by now. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, man. That's not good. That's not good. All right. Well, it's a new week. But new things to talk about. So let's get into the dad's uh, talk, man. Let's let's go ahead. You got your ear to the street. What is it, D? Snoop, but we don't gossip. Oh, no. But we gonna bring you the real. We just snoop a little bit. Dad Snoop. Oh, yeah. My brothers, we're not going to talk about extenders this week. As you know, dads, we don't gossip. But we do keep our ears to the street. And this little nilly... I think everybody's talking about, but I want to look at it from a different angle. As we know, Cardi B has just filed for divorce. And I want to hear from the brother. I had a question for the brothers. Offset's friends are now witnessing Offset losing his WAP. How long should one of them wait before they say who's next? I got next. I'm telling you right Somebody's now. real friends? I'm, 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 <laughs> how, how close? My thing is this. Like Ace says, it's real friend. But then second off, how close are we? You know what I'm saying? How, how close are we? Because if she put it out there, man, like, listen. But honestly, I, I, I like me personally, if it's one of my people's, it's one of my, and I don't even got to be my best friend. I just can't even do it. Like, it's just, it's not even happening. I'm just not touching it. Keep it away from me because it's just awkward. You know what I'm saying? And he got a kid by her too. So I'm like, nah, this this wasn't just some run through. This was his wife. So I really, per, me personally, I can't, it's just never going to happen. Like, I couldn't look at it the same. Don't get it twisted. One drunk night, you never know. <laughs> but I'm just saying, <laughs> nah, I could, I, I could mess with it, man. I could mess with it. Yeah, like to me, I think that um, for for a guy, for a guy to even be involved in that, I mean, he he clearly ain't a friend to even bring that up. But <clears throat> I think the biggest thing is that some of the friends probably already know what the real deal is. You know what I mean? There's been a lot of speculations <clears throat> about what the possibility is in regards to that he might have another child on the way or whatever. And um, if that's the case, you know, it, it, it's they already talking about well, what made you creep. They already know what made him creep out and all of that stuff. 
So, I, I mean, here, here's the thing. I really don't think that Cardi B is who she is, who she's all cracked up to be behind closed doors. And by that, I mean that Cardi B is just like any other female who has flaws and has um, a different side of her. And I think that Cardi's ego is too big to be in a relationship with someone else who has this, the spotlight shine on them. She has to be the one where that, you know, that guy doesn't mind taking the back seat and um, sitting there saying, yeah, my wife is Cardi B or my girl is Cardi B, uh, sort of like a Nicki Minaj or um, uh, who's another one? Uh, any of the countless other people that you could name that um, that there are significant others in the back seat. She's not, she doesn't remind me of a Tiana Taylor where, you know, it's her and Amon Shumpert and Tiana Taylor is comfortable with a mind getting all of that, all of that energy, or or Beyonce and the Jay Z, where they're comfortable with each other getting that energy. I don't think that stuff happens with with Cardi. I think Cardi immediately says, "I need all of the eyes to be on me." Yeah, I, I think not, you. I think that you got to be built for that um relationship you know what i'm saying you yeah. got to be either built for that and like you said i can agree with you because like let's let's not let's not forget like cardi before cardi was cardi she was just a regular chick you know what i'm saying mm -hmm, so now mm -hmm. she, she now she's getting that publicity now, i mean now she's getting it she's there you know she's on a whole nother level but now you with somebody else that's on that level and the same attention that you're getting from dudes he's getting from female from chicks you know what i'm saying and that you have to be strong to get ahead and deal with that. And you got to be strong to be the dude that is not, if you're, if you're the man in a relationship and you, if you're not that in that star, you know, that stardom, that's also, you got to be strong for that too. So everybody ain't built for that. And, and the crazy thing is, here's another thing. And I, I witnessed this firsthand. If, if you're a good person of, or a good judgment of character based off of people, um, you know, and their actions, Based off of how her sister Hennessy even acts, who I co-hosted an event with downtown Newark a, a few years back, Hennessy was the same way. She just wasn't as loud as Cardi. You know what I mean? Like when we was on on the mic, Hennessy didn't. She didn't have no jokes, or she couldn't. She couldn't control the crowd without yelling. And it was like, stay right here you know, next to me to make me feel confident, but, but I'm going to outshine you because I want all the attention on me. And, you know, it wasn't a negative thing as far as a hosting perspective, perspective because, of course, Hennessy is way more known than Ace Brown, which I'm, you know, I'm fine with. But when you transfer that into a relationship, how many guys going to want to deal with that? That's a fact. That's a fact. How many guys gonna really want to deal with that? A lot of guys gonna be like, "Nah, what you talking about? Yeah. Nah, you're not gonna be just out talking. Ah, uh -uh, I'm talking. You shit. Like dudes ain't gonna be wanting to hear that. Yeah, and I just think it like, like and like just to even just to, from these question, it's it's just a guy code, Joe. I mean, the, and, 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 and any dude that's his man's come and sleep with her, try to get ahead and try to holler at her, do whatever, like. That's just, that's whack to me. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you just don't touch, you just don't touch it. You just, it's just, it's just something I just don't want to do. And me personally, I don't want to get ahead. And later on, let's say I catch feelings. Cause now if I catch feelings, me and you can no longer be cool like that. Because you, you hit my, you hit my wife or my no, girl now, you know, it's just, it's uncomfortable. And I can never trust y'all alone again. But you know D, what I'm brought up, D brought up the WAP because of the song. Her verse wasn't that. even in Titus. Mm -hmm. Egg the Stallion verse. Her, all her bars. I was like, well, well damn. Okay. Yeah. Like Cardi was like, eh, that's cute. But no, Cardi said, hit that dangly thing in the back of her throat. Uh, hit, the on, come on, come on, <laughs> hit the Yubo. Come on. Hit the Yubo. Yeah, you, you must have seen, you must have seen on TikTok how many women was touching that with their finger. And I was like, Oh, that's nothing then. They was like, yeah, that's nothing. But now look at when 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 uh when Meg said, when I ride his dick, I'ma spell my name. Yeah, women like this. Wait, let me try to wait. 
they were moving the body over. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's when, that's when you realize what diverse do for you. <laughs> and that's, that's different. Yeah, yeah that's different. Different. I'm coming at y'all differently. I'm, I'm, I'm. No, absolutely not. <laughs> um, I don't even care about the song WAP. Nothing. Cardi is a bad chick, and. If this Negro lost Cardi because he was out here cheating and dangling and swangling, oh, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you about two years, um, just to make sure y'all don't get back together before I'm like, who's next? Right here, <laughs> me, Yellow. How you doing, Cardi B? Wow. <laughs> yep. Wow. Now, if y'all, you know if y'all broke up over some, if y'all broke up over, <laughs> if y'all broke up over some some regular nonsense, like some regular nonsense, like you know, y'all just couldn't mesh. But if you broke, if you got lost her because you out here can't recognize what you got, and you you the one all lucky, and you Nick cats want to be in your shoes, and you out here dipping and dangling in someplace else, oh no, I give you two years to make sure y'all y'all not definitely not getting back together. All right, so time out. Are you just doing two years just to hit it, or two years like yo? I might have to invest in this drink because I, I I I'll I'll show the right way to do this. Oh no, I'm I'm invested. Oh, so you invested? You trying you to wife up? You're this trying to man. wife your man's <laughs> ex? This nah, is you're your bugging, man, yo. Yo. You're bugging. This There's is no your way, man. bro. He wait, not my brother? This... He my man's. Oh, <laughs> nah, wait, wait. nah, man. Is this because of Cardi? He my brother, he my man's. Is this because huh? of Cardi? If we mean it because of Cardi. Cardi, like, are you saying? Right, Cardi so let me ask you a question. Are you your man's? Are y'all like man? Is I know it's not like your brother, but do y'all chill? Like, does he come to the crib and hang out? Not all the time. You know what I'm saying? What What's the relationship with y'all? Because if he come to the crib and chill with y'all, nah, that's too much, bro. If it's somebody that you know, like he live in my hood, I know him, but we ain't we you know that we ain't cool like that. Okay, maybe, but. If it's somebody that, yo, they come by the crib sometimes, yo, we chill, we, me and him might, like, go grab some cigars, go grab a drink no, or something like that? No, because that's, that's too close for comfort. No, absolutely not. So this is about, just somebody from about, around it. your way? This somebody, I like, if I see him, I'm like, oh, what's up? You know, that's like, I'm trying to think of somebody. Oh, God. Don't, don't like, name no names now. That's just no, like no, James. To, little, to... That's like James. Like me and James ain't cool. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, but somebody what? you know, like when you you if you see them, if you see them, y'all can have a conversation. Oh, what's going on, fam? How you doing? I right, good to see you and keep it moving and passing. You know what I mean? Or, you know, if y'all are all at a uh, an event that you recognize, right, so dude, and you respect, go, dude. Hey, go what's deep, going though. on? This is this is what my question. This is what my question is, and I guess it would intertwine with what Bill is saying. Are you saying this because it's Cardi, or is that your rule of thumb with anybody that you just associate with? So, for example, if it was somebody from our side, you wasn't cool with them, anything like that, but you do know them, and you're like, "Yo, what's up?" Are you saying that if you know that they're married to someone that? After two years, their person is now free game, or are you saying no? That's strictly because it's Cardi. No, I'm saying this because if 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 the wife is as bad as Cardi, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you're saying just, because just... it's Cardi. No, no, he's saying because if she bad, it don't have to be Cardi. He's saying like. Yo, right. she bad, and well, well, that's two years go did. by, he's jumping on. It's not just because it's Cardi. Oh, it's God. because she bad, and right. he's like, listen, two years went by. Look, you messed it oh, up. Wow. I can be invested. Oh, Honestly, wow. D, you're horrible. But, oh, wow. I mean, you do what oh. you do, brother. Oh, oh wow. Well, don't talk about me. Pray for me. Oh, <laughs> don't there you go. That's what we're going to do. Brother, pray for so you. God safe. bless you. <laughs> y'all my brother, oh, wow. so y'all safe. Don't worry. Oh wow! Because <laughs> if he would have been like, nah, because it's Cardi, I'm like, yeah. Because I tell you one thing, Dwayne Wade ever messed up, you know. <laughs> Gabby always got a room with me and T. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> Gabby right. always got a room with me and T. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Serena Williams. Gabby always got a room with me and T. But that's because it's Gabrielle. You know what I'm saying? No. Like, but not just any. Well, Serena. Serena knows. She already knows from the letters. 
Is it Sh- <laughs> Serena knows? <laughs> Serena, yeah, from the okay. Serena Williams. She, oh, she knows she about the letters. The letters <laughs> what letters? <laughs> Wait, what letters? <sighs> <laughs> He sent dude. letters to Serena. Yeah, this this dude out here sending letters. If to you watch Serena. Serena, hey, how you doing? Um, I'm still waiting for the re- the reply, but um, yeah. if no. not, I'm be consistent. I'm gonna keep sending them. So I, I just want you to know how much you stand. need to be. You heard me? You heard me, Bill? What camera you I look into? This camera right here. He I just want you to know. <laughs> Yo, I'm I'm, I'm wanting sure anybody that know D. And he might look at your wife. If y'all don't talk like on the on the regular, listen, yeah. your, your wife's not safe. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm just happy he calls me his brother. You know Word. what I'm saying? So I know Word. I'm here. Because God forbid anything happened. He's given Word. it two years and he's coming through with his dick extender <laughs> talking about, <laughs> yo, I know Ace messed this up, but uh, check this extender real quick. Like, yo, yo, good this dude, right? Crazy. <laughs> You, you're, you're, you're despicable. You're despicable. I mean, come on now. Yo, D, every dad's talk gets different with you. We learn something new every week with you, brother. Wow. Y'all my brothers and those my sisters, so they will never, I would never look at them like that. But if you're going to be like moment, this, well, you know we not blood, right? That's well, hold on. Wait, I, was about wait, I was about to say, but if at any moment we become other unbrother-like. <laughs> Good God. Yeah. Good Thanks, God dude. Almighty. Thanks, the jokes I'm playing, I'm playing, you know. Yeah. Nah, else. nah, don't try to clean it up now. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about like y'all. This. Oh, he said what I said. Y'all. I'm talking about y'all. I said what I said. I meant yeah. it. Like, if oh, you did God. something stupid, I don't need to respect. I don't, there's no, there, there should be a amendment to any guy code that if the, if the guy did something stupid, all bets are off, period. But that's not considered a guy code, though. I know. I know what's not considered God code. I said there should be an amendment to God code. Like, nah. if you did something stupid... God code, to me, only matters if if you're close like that. It only nah. matters to me if you're close like that. Like, I'm not, I'm not walking around just knowing of the dude or knowing vaguely about the dude and be like, oh, man, he used to mess with her. So I can... Nah. Nah. Yeah, nah. no, but I'm saying God code, there should be an amendment to God code. The amendment to God code, if you did something stupid, all bets all nah, all because bets if that's the what nah, because because I wouldn't care what uh anyone that's close to me did with their wife or their girl, they're still considered off limits once nah, I, I know that. Stupid. You, <laughs> what? Jesus. And I'm not even I'm not even just talking about cheating. I'm talking about like if you put your hand if you put your hand on her. Yeah, but like, that stuff like that. I like, mean, I, I may you. not I may not agree with it, but that still don't mean that it gives <laughs> D going like, over talking like, yo, yeah, he I'm put not, his hands I mean, on you, I won't touch you. I'm only gonna yeah. smack that <laughs> that's about it. Like D in there, two years. Two years. Yeah. Nah, I won't hit you, baby. That. I'm not doing that. D D walk in there like this. Hey, what happened? He hit me. I'm gonna right. look. So, look, look. look. He's like this. And the two years start now. I'll be looking at the watch. I'll be checking at the watch. All right. So we got 23 more months. Yeah. Hey, wait. <laughs> so your oil's changed. You know, your car's washed. <laughs> let, me say. Yeah. Let, me, let me rotate your tires for you, baby. That's what it God is. Oh my you got God. two years. All right, then. Yeah. I said what I said. Dad's talk. This will be this 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 the new wave. Cause our dads don't we don't gossip, but we definitely keep our ears to the street. And when we got something to talk about, it's definitely because we got something to say. It's been another dad's talk with your man's Deacon mm-hmm. Comedy. God bless you. Oh, Pray God. for him. You locked in to the Dad's Intervention Podcast. I got a question. All right, people, y'all know what time it is. It's time for the Ask Dad portion of the show. That's when y'all get ahead and send us in y'all questions, and we get ahead and answer them. Y'all want to send us in some questions, y'all can send those. Hit us on Instagram, at Dad's Intervention Podcast, or you can email us at Dad's Intervention Podcast at gmail.com and uh, put in the subject, Ask Dad. So, 
today's question came from one of my mans. He uh, showed me a text thread between uh, him and a, him and a young lady, and um, he wants to know um, how we feel about this situation. And then he really wants to hear from the ladies and hear what the, how the ladies feel about it. Excuse me. So the text went just like this: Where do we go from here? He said, "Where do we go from here?" She says, "What do you um? What would you like to do?" He said, uh, we should set up a date and uh, we should set up a Dutch date. She said, laughing my ass off. And what is a Dutch date? Well, being that it's our first outing and we don't know each um, if uh, and we don't know if we're interested in each other. It's the way to make sure intentions, intentions are pure. I'll pay for my food. You pay for yours and I'll leave the tip when the second date comes. If the second date comes, it's on me. So. Fellas, how do y'all feel about the first date y'all going Dutch? Uh, just going Dutch on the first date. How do y'all feel about that? First off, let's 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 let's, let's touch that first. You you want me to go first? Or you yeah, go yeah, first? yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, I definitely say um, I would agree with it if you did not ask her out on a date. If that was just a mutual, we're tired of talking on the phone. Let's go grab a bite to eat. Mm -hmm. And I think that going Dutch is a perfect idea. Um, but if if you asked her, if any man asks a woman out on a date, I feel as though you should be asked, you know, you should be ready to pay for the dinner. Now, the same goes vice versa. If a woman is 2020, if a woman asks a man out on a date, then she should be ready to pay for the entire date. Now, whether or not a man accepts it, that's different because some men may say, yeah, she asked me out, but I'm still prepared to pay for it. But a woman should be prepared. Ladies don't get in the habit of asking a man out on a date and then ex assuming that the man is still going to play the man role and pay for it. You know what I mean? Like a lot of ladies, like I've seen it where a lady, you know, women have said, yeah, I asked him out, but he should, he still should have paid for it. No, you asked. Mm -hmm. you don't even know he might not have wanted to go out yeah you know what i mean so um but to answer your question i don't think that there's anything wrong with going dutch on the first date especially the way it seemed like that conversation happened you know it seemed like that conversation was one of those we don't really know what's going on yeah we don't really know where we at with this we don't know we're gonna like each other we've never been out with each other we've never seen how each other vibe you know how we mesh with each other so let's let's keep it here and then let's see what goes on and that's what it seemed like to me that that's the reason for going dutch and then if that's the case i'm cool with that i don't i don't find anything wrong with it okay so d how you feel about the uh, first date dutch d i completely disagree i completely disagree with my bro ace brown because it's this the it's it's the thinking like that that has broken down um the generations and generations of chivalry um that has that was once in place to let a man know that what 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 a woman's worth is and what his worth is. Never should there ever be a time that we go out that I go out with you, a female, and we go Dutch. It's a called an investment. If I'm gonna go spiritual, the Bible said a man that findeth a wife find it for good thing. That means I have to go looking. Therefore, if I'm looking, that means I'm making these investments to find that person. So even if I don't know if you are the one, the fact that I'm looking, that means I'm going to look for you is once I see that you're not the one, then I move on to the next one. Therefore, going Dutch is unacceptable. Um, and, and also it breaks down the whole mentality of what a man is supposed to be doing. That's why we got men now talking out here now, um, sleeping around with women, expecting to get PS fives, um, instead of going out and buy their own. That's why we got men who refuse to go get a job and, what the and stay with their girl, stay with their woman doing, um, why? Cause she got wick and she got, um, was that done called, uh, section, section eight. eight? Is the, is just the breakdown? Is a breakdown of men being men. So I, no, I, absolutely not. You if you if I, we going on a date. If she asks me to go on a date, or if I ask her, 
is is my job as the man to pay for the date because I'm the provider. Now I I'm gonna get I'm gonna let you talk. I I I agree I agree with you, D. Because I'm my thing is this my my oh my whole thing is the first intention. If I'm Okay, we don't know if we're interested in each other. I, 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 I'm obviously asking you out. Oh, let's say, hey, let's go out to eat. Even if we go out to eat, it can be like a homegirl of mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, let's go get something to eat. If I ask her to go out to eat and it's just a homegirl, there's nothing going on, I can get ahead and pay, and that's cool. But if I have any type of intention of something going on between me and you, I have to start from right then and there, and I have to get ahead and pay for that date. Okay? Yeah. Now, am I okay with, like, I'm, I'm with Ace, to where if she gets an ask and she's prepared to, and she says, okay, I want to take you out on a date. And if it's, if it's the first day she tried to pay, I'm going to stop her. Be like, nah, I got it. If anything, I'll let you leave the tip. Even I don't even want you to do that. But I'm, I'm glad that you offered. You know what I mean? Because some chicks come in like this. Yeah, I asked, but you're supposed to get and pay. I don't want to get ahead and mm -hmm. agree with that. You know what I mean? But um, I also get ahead and do agree on with, you know, there can be times like later on, I'll allow you to get ahead. We can go Dutch. I'll pay for my half. And you, pay, you know what I mean? If, if it's not going to be that serious, but I think your first impression is the best impression. So I'm leading with the, I'm paying. That's just what you're going to come into. And it's not an L to say the relationship don't work out. It's cool. We just had a good meal. You know what I mean? So I just can't on that first date, just accept her, paying for her half because it's like how is she going to look at me because you know they go out and talk oh did you pay you know they talk to their people and it's not even about what they think but it's just that first impression I feel like the man is supposed to get ahead and take but care of that once again like I said I don't think that this comes off to me as a first impression though only because of the simple fact that you know the the text said where do we go from here I don't yeah. know. I don't know if that now that could be that can be a whole different thing. That where do we go from here? Could be this is our first time getting the getting the, the phone number. I've been telling I've been telling your girl, I've been trying to get in touch with you. She finally gave me your phone number. Where do we go from here? Or it could be, yeah, you 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 know, we just did the parking lot, you know, thing. Um, but even that. Even though you don't even know, from Listen, here? but my, my thing is this, even with that, I meet you in the parking lot and then we going out somewhere. Now, if we go out, that's a first impression because now she can be like, oh, he paid. Nah, your first impression was, was face down, assed up in my back seat of the car. I mean, no, I mean, that, that, that's, that, I mean, that's, that's, that's so, different. But, so we have no choice. Now. We have no choice now. That's why I said it depends on the atmosphere of what it is like if this is an official first date fine but if we want some old i don't even know yet you know i i'm with you on that what you're saying as far as bill i'm with you on the whole okay halfway through i may make up in my mind yo i'm not letting this girl go Dutch. this is like almost like a first date you know yeah. what i'm saying i got this but what if they now, like you, you said what if you go on that what if you go on that date, like you just said, like right now, we don't know where it's at, right? Y'all go on that date, and it's a good date. I feel yeah, like I if it's a good date, it. you're supposed to just go and pay. No, we, I, I'm, I'm paying that. I have no problems paying it. But when I, what I, when I said my answer, what I was saying was, it's okay for a Dutch to happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm not going to sit here and say that I agree, uh, disagree with D, but I'm not going to say I agree because every date or every person that you are courting does not mean that you're trying to make them your wife. Now, True. I totally understand and, and say, well, why, you know, why are you wasting your time on that person? And why is that person even involved? You know, some people, let's not make it seem like it is what it is. Yo, some, some dudes are taking women out just to get the skins. Of That's course. it. So, you know, every dude ain't, ain't out here to try to, sh you know, show the, show the woman the glitz and the glamour and all of that. So depending on the, the relationship is what I'm, what I'm saying as far as why it would be acceptable. Nope. You know what I mean? Still not, still not acceptable because, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. How is the breakdown? Because even if you're not, even if you're, even if your intention is not to marry someone, if even if your intention is just to get her to be 
butt up face down in the back seat of your car there should be a price you should look at this young lady with enough with enough um pride to say you know what at least the least i can do is pay for your meal he's a he's a damn lie he's like at lie. least there's the no can, way in hell it's no way in hell you can't if somebody you, just if somebody if i just seen you if i just if you just gave me four lap dances I'm not taking you out to eat, and I just want to get some head. Come on now, come on now. We are not going to treat. Lap dances, every... you, why are you asking her out? That's what I'm saying. We're not going to treat every situ. We can't treat every situation the same. You wouldn't ask somebody out who just gave you four lap. Dances. He didn't ask. He didn't ask that girl out. What he said is, where do we go from here? They were just talking. He's like, we don't know talking. if we are hundred percent there. They, That's what they, I'm saying. There's interest, the but they don't know where they want to get ahead and go. Yeah, right? I don't know, I mean, know what the before interest. was. So if, if, if there is interest, like Bill said, if there for them to interest, have that conversation, there's got to be some type of interest. Not saying right. it's full head on jump in, but there's got the, the conversation is there. The Dutch is there, and they sitting there like, look. I don't know where we're going from here. So it's like, okay, there's interest. It's kind of like, yo, you cute. You cute too. Yo, what's good? And that's you know what, what I'm saying? saying. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with, if you have interest, you should not have a problem paying with it. I'm not against it. I'm not saying, nah, every first date go Dutch. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is every, every date should not be Oh, the man, go ahead. Don't, I'm not saying discredit someone for saying, yo, I prefer to go Dutch. Cause like I said, if a dude was on some old, yo, I really don't want to go out with this chick, but I don't want to hurt her feelings. Now, as he goes out, as he goes out with her or whatever like that, and they're eating, he like, yo, you know what? Um, she's getting ready to pay. And he like, nah, I got it. And she says, well, let's just go Dutch. Because maybe he ain't what she thought he was. There's nothing wrong with it is what I'm saying. I, I, I mean, I get that. I mean, like I said, we can go back and forth and go either way. My thing is even on that end, because I feel like there's sometimes that I can get ahead. Let's say it's a coworker and we, you know, there's nothing going on or whatever, and we just go out to eat, having a good time out of lunch or whatever, and we getting ready to pay, like, how much the bill? I'm like, okay, I got it. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? That's just me being, a, you know, a, a nice person. You know what I'm saying? If I got it, just want to be a cool person. We had a good lunch. Yeah, I got it. Don't even worry about it. You get some, You get it next time. You know what I'm saying? That's just an impression that she'd be like, yo, he's a real sweet dude. That can lead to other things also. That can lead to, yo, I... I know this dude at my job, real nice guy. This is this, this, that, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I say with that first impression, that's why I always think you should just go out and do that because you might not be setting it up for her, but then she might know somebody that, yo, I think you know, I want to introduce you to somebody. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Certain things like that. So that's how I, you know, I look at it also. But like I said, I, no one is, you know, absolutely right or wrong here. I believe that, you know, it, women can pay in these days, you know what I'm saying? This is a new age, but yeah. I'm just, I'm I'm old school. So I'm just, you know, I, I feel some type of way when I just gotta, not saying gotta lean on a woman, but I just wanna get ahead and be that gentleman and be able to do that, you know what I mean? But people, uh, thank y'all for y'all in the comments. Uh, you know, we, we appreciate y'all feedback with these things, but uh, please get ahead and uh, send us in y'all questions uh, to Dad's Intervention Podcast on Instagram. Hit us in the DM or hit us up in our email at Dad's Intervention Podcast at gmail.com. And uh, we will get ahead and help you out. Uh, you can put in the subject, ask that. But till next time, y'all keep sending them the questions and we're going to keep answering them. We're going to holla at y'all. Peace. Have you ever been incarcerated before? Are you a female and live in the Pennsylvania area? If you answered yes to both and need assistance in reintegrating into society and getting back to your family again, then contact Living for Tomorrow Incorporated. Living for Tomorrow Incorporated is a nonprofit female community correctional facility that is able to help former incarcerated women get back on track, especially during these pandemic times. For more information, call 267-908-LFTI. That's 267-908-5383. Or visit livingfortomorrowinc.org. And remember, Living for Tomorrow Inc., obliterating recidivism one woman at a time. You locked in to the Dad's Intervention Podcast. All right, so that was our sponsor right there. And of course, if you would like to sponsor any part of our podcast, whether it be the Dad's Talk, 
ask that or the dad's cave please go ahead and hit us up at dad's intervention podcast at gmail.com put in the subject banner or the subject line put in their sponsor and go ahead and just tell us who you are what would you like to sponsor or if you don't even know where you fit at we will make sure you fit somewhere all right it's time it's time it's time it's time buckle up hold on tight it is time for the dad's cave we going in. I'm not baby's daddy. To the dad's cave. I'm not baby's daddy. Shut it down. I'm baby. You already know it gets down and dirty. This is where we go ahead and we talk unfiltered, uncensored, unrated. So if you are around the kids, tell them to get the hell out your face. And D doesn't have any buttons on his shirt, so we are safe people. <laughs> All right? Because if he had any buttons, I'm telling you right Good. now, I was leaving. God. Yeah, Good. yeah. Yeah, it got it got it got there. It got All there, right, man. so check it. Here's, and I, I I guess this is a more of a question for the guys, for you guys to answer. But I had a a, a guy that I know asked me this, and he said, "Is he wrong?" Because he told the girl, "Yeah, that's the reason why he does it." All right. So if you know a girl got, if you know a girl got uh, her tubes tied, right? Would you, would you keep her automatically as a side chick? Cause you know, you can just bust off in her or do you, think, <laughs> or do you think, or do you think that she should be even, she should be in the conversation of like, yo, like that's, that could be my girl one day. Because what happened is this. He knew a girl that had six kids. She told him, yo, my tubes is tied. He was like, all right. So he just started skeeting off in her. No, 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 whatever. And she was like, yo, you know, she brought up like, yo, you don't even bring condoms over here no more. And he kept, he said he kept it real with her. And they got into a big argument. And she was like. What was his keep it real? His thing was, you can't get fucking pregnant. So. The fuck, like, the fuck am I bringing condoms over here for? And she was like, uh, still to protect us. He's like, from what? <laughs> so her thing was, so you not messing with nobody else? He was like, oh, yeah, I am, but I wear condoms with them, not with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so my question to y'all he is. He probably this. goes Dutch, too. Yo, my question, <laughs> <laughs> yo, my question to y'all is. One, one, if you know a chick or if guys know a chick that have their tube side, is it an automatic green light to be busting off, shooting the club up? I'm going to say, I'm going to put it like this. If, 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 I don't, if I already got kids and I'm not dealing with nobody else, I'm busting. I'm I'm shooting all up in that thing. Like if it's just us, like I mean, we okay. ain't gotta be a bunch. I just know I'm just hitting this. I'm busting up in there, and I know nobody else is up in there. Oh, uh, pew pew pew! Everybody gotta die. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no way nobody else is in there, and that feeling is just it's just different. So once you let me go up in there once, nah, I, I'm in there. You know, I'm just diving in. But now. Can you wipe somebody like that? Yes, you can wipe somebody like that, but the only thing is, like, you have to know, are you done on your kid's side? Are you content with, okay, some dudes be like, I don't want no kids. You know what I'm saying? Then we got people that say, okay, I know you got six kids, but I do want to get a kid. So now you know you're just busting it down because you know on the long run it's not going to get ahead and work because you want kids of your mm-hmm. own. I mean, of course, there's adoption options and stuff out there. But but you know it ain't going to happen with her. Yeah, it's not going to happen with her. So that, that that's going to bring attention that you don't get ahead and really want. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, just keep it moving if I want kids. But if I already have a kid and she got kids, we good. I'm, I'm set. You set. I love your kids like they mine. You love my kids like they yours. Mm. We good. Let's okay. uh, I, I keep shooting it up. <laughs> and then if things don't work out and we get ahead and uh, break up or uh, separate, I can go shoot somewhere else and oh. then get a kid. So Yo, it is what Bill, it is. I'm about to call Bill Anthony Davis. You just shooting <laughs> everywhere, huh? As you doing? Kobe. <laughs> okay. okay. I, oh, so you're going to put the dead man on it, huh? That's what you want to do? So hold on. All right. So D, you're saying no, you shouldn't be shooting the club up. Absolutely not. First of all, number one, you have to take care 
You have to take yourself, care of yourself first, foremost. Trust no one. I know people who I know of people who said I can't get pregnant and got kids to this day. Wait, before it, when they said they had a two, I'm, I know this is still because uh, there's going to be some people watch our show. I know that there is still a percentage that even when you have your tubes tied, you can get pregnant again. So are you right. saying that you know people that had their tooth tied, said they couldn't get pregnant no more and they got pregnant again? Or you're yeah. talking about, they just was like, yeah, I, never, I don't got no kids and I can't have no kids. No, I, I know both on both sections. I okay. know people who have gotten their tubes tied and somehow it, it mended or whatever and <laughs> they got pregnant. <laughs> he, he said, he said that somehow they mended or whatever. <laughs> No, because you know, like because the, like the two is like this, and I'm back. <laughs> He's like this. I can see you. There's a little hole. Come on in, guys. <laughs> well, go ahead. Go ahead. There are different types of um, tube sides. So they have they have them where they snip them. They burn the ends because yeah. then there's some where they get tied. They tie it, but somehow they get untied, which then allows for pregnancy to happen. So they need a double oh. knot, basically. <laughs> Word. They didn't, they didn't go to so Boy you, Scouts. So you third grade tied mine. You third grade <laughs> tied mine. Okay. So trust, you can't, you trust no one. The only person you can trust is yourself. So before I, before I take that responsibility and go in there shooting up the club, because I'm thinking I'm the only one that's in there. I'm the only one, I'm the only one getting it. I have to think, okay, am I with this person 24, 24, seven? Is there a slightest opportunity or slightest chance that somebody else might be getting it in there? If, if, if there's the slightest chance that I need to protect myself rather than protect us, mm -hmm. I need to protect myself because then I'm looking, so then if I get burnt, now I'm looking at you like, oh, I thought you said you couldn't get pregnant. So mm -hmm. I didn't see a need to use a condom. And she looking at you like, oh well, I got drunk that day. No, see, this is where we in trouble. And no. and I don't think I don't think that it was more so that I think he was looking more so at the pregnancy part. But then right. it no, brought up pregnancy. You could deal with a you could deal with a baby. You can't deal with HIV. You can't deal with you at this point. You can't deal with COVID twenty two. <laughs> Word. 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 Cause a nigga, nah, a nigga well, first off, I'm gonna tell you like this. Niggas, niggas be like this. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Man, yo, I'm gonna tell you like this. He's bugging out because he said you're the only one I'm going raw in. So my man. Yeah, I don't you get, messing up with a, Yeah, he's messing with you. You strapping up with everybody else, so it sounds like it's multiple. So that right there is the scary part for him. Wise, you know right. what I'm saying? And but now you bring that to her. But wait. This is what brought the part two. This is what brought the part two because he asked another question. Because the chick, I guess the chick was hurt, but when she said something to him, he was like, That shit, he was like, She tried to hurt me with it, but that shit ain't true. And I was like, Nah, my nigga, nah. Because she, he basically said, like, Yo, um, you know, he told her, like, Well, yeah, you the only one going up in Raw but everybody else I'm protecting. And she was like, yeah, and you probably swallowing other niggas nuts too. And he was like, what? She was like, yeah, every time you kissing a chick, you know, you don't know who nuts she swallowed. And he was like, that don't even work like that. Now he's young, he like 24. He was like, <laughs> nah. So then I said, well, did you, you ever came in her mouth? He was like, yeah, I said, did you kiss her after? And he was like, but that don't matter, right? <laughs> now, here's the question for y'all. When you were single, did you ever, did you ever nut in a chick mouth and then kiss her immediately after? Yo, absolutely honestly. <laughs> what? What'd you say? Derek said, Derek said absolutely not. <laughs> Yo, you want to know how disrespectful? Because, like, it's like watching porn. Like, after you get that nut off, they're, like, so filthy. Like, porn is disgusting. After when, when you get that nut, it's like this. Oh, what are y'all doing? <laughs> so, I can front. In the moment, when I'm busting that thing out, I'm like this. Oh. 
and they want to kiss. I'm like, oh, oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> but in the moment, I'm in there like this. Come here, bro. Mm, right. But <laughs> as soon as I know, I done exploded in there. Nah, it's all right. Mwah. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pat on the back, giving that Feel me up. like this. Feel me like Listen. this. All right, Joe, you be all right. <laughs> Listen, tell tell your boy that junk is real. No, that's not my true. boy. He he just he just I just know he work at he work at the old old spot. So tell him that it's real and it's true. I used to I used to mess with this chick who had a whole boyfriend, and I used to she used to come by the house. Why she was on her way, she used to leave early to come by the house because she had to pick up her boyfriend from work. She used to come by the house, give me head in the car, and go pick up her boyfriend. Now, when I met the boyfriend, I laughed because I'm like, Hi, every time you, every time you went, every time she came to pick you up from work and greeted her with a kiss. You had my nut in your in your cheek, bro. <laughs> like, and I did it on you purpose. Gre- you greeted her with a kiss, <laughs> and you did it on purpose. Nut. I did it on purpose. I wanted to. I wanted to make sure. Yo, Bill face. <laughs> <laughs> Just the disrespect, honestly. Yo, I, this and nigga, no, I, 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 I want to say this. Nigga is the deacon. Yo. that's the problem. <laughs> Yo, listen. Don't I learn something new every week about life. this dude, yo. I, listen, he's been Don't saved many times. He's had so many backsliding days yo, in his it, life. Here's my thing, yo. If Don't God, if if God forgives, if God forgives Derek, I'm I'm scotch free. Yeah, I doubt it because you ain't asking forgiveness. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. I've been asking for forgiveness for everything. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Derek just be on some disrespectful. Disrespect. You disrespect. just be disrespectful, dog. Oh, I was very disrespectful because I felt <laughs> I felt he was doing, he was getting something that I wanted. And I'm sitting here trying to convince this chick to like, if you coming to see me every day mm-hmm. before you go see him, mm-hmm. then come on. Like, what's, what's the hold up? What's the problem? And look, now y'all married. You got what you wanted. Now I'm joking. Your age, your age face is like this. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? He <laughs> said, oh, "Hello." <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah. And, and and that I mean, but when he said it, it made me like think about it. And I'm like, I know, I know me. I never did that. You know what I'm saying? Like that was. I didn't. I didn't. I'm not going to say I didn't have the courage, but I didn't have women that were just down on some old, go ahead. Nah, they was like, mm-mm, not in my mouth mm-hmm. or whatever like that. So I never had to, I never had to worry about it. However, and I'm, of course, we're talking ladies. Um, I want you to know that we're talking about the three of us before being married. Um, of course, though, I don't know what else the, the chick was doing. So I really don't know if the shit was being done to me. I'll be honest. I don't know. Yep. So, I, and and that's that when D said that, I'm just like this. I tell you this much: women, women could cover it up because that goddamn strawberry lip gloss and all of these mm-hmm. banana shit. That drink is just stuck in the lip gloss now. Yeah. Ah, oh. you, you like this? I'm, I'm so all happy right. I'm married. I'm just so happy I'm married, yeah. man. Like them, it's them young crazy. days, man. You think you miss it, but then you start really analyzing stuff and the stuff that you did, and you look back. Like, mm. nah, I come home from work every day and kiss my wife every day. So it's just like, yo, back in the day when you was younger, she could have been. Did you, what did you used to do? You know what I'm saying? What You know? So it's like crazy. Yeah. But good luck, brother. Good luck with your lip. <laughs> and uh, if you if you got a little itch the next he day. Shoot, look, he's shooting the club up, but swallowing that. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Back. What's his name? He his, his name must be um, what's the dude name? Dag from um from from um, that was that movie that Showtime Uncle Clifford boo. Uh, oh, <laughs> P Valley. Yeah, but what's what's Uncle Clifford's boo? Uh, the rapper dude. Yeah, I know he's talking. About. I can't think of his name right now. Uh, little uh, kill, little murder. Little murder. 
Yeah. Let me find out that's your boy. Uh, that's that's your boy. Your boy named Little Murder. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Oh, no. Yep. On that note, uh, <laughs> this has been a good dad's cave. <laughs> Yo. All right, man. Uh, <laughs> we get <laughs> We'll see y'all next week as always. But before we get out of here, in closing, we always say, Bill. Yo, in closing, uh, honestly, uh, keep your friends close. And hopefully D is one of your close friends. Because if not, <laughs> two years, <laughs> he's knocking your wife down. <laughs> Word. Word. D. If you are kissing and licking and licking and kissing, please understand that what you lick may be thick it might be thin but it came from another man's within <laughs> god bless you hey, yo. <laughs> yo. yo hey yo this is two weeks in a row this dude's doing poetry too yo. oh my gosh what the hell god bless you <laughs> All right. Um, in closing, uh, if you're going out on the first date, as my good brother D said, keep the chivalry up, pay for the first date. However, you find out that she swallowed ever in life, go Dutch. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> Yo, next week, folks. Yo. We holla at y'all. Two years. Two years. <laughs> you locked in to the Dad's Intervention Podcast.